Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Rider. Hey, here. Santee, we got mail. We got mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Santee, could you please make a video on cowboy bandanas, the different styles and uses? Thanks. The Brendan V. Hmm. Bandanas in the Old West. Let's look into it. You just knock it off. There's a bank over there. The word bandana comes from the ancient Sanskrit meaning a bond, or simply a tie, since it was popular for people to tie them around their necks or around their heads. Throughout history, they've been used for practical as well as decorative purposes. In the 19th century West, one could find them on many folks whose work kept them out in the elements. Yes, that includes outlaws and bandits, Bill Bradleton. So, what are the uses for the bandana? Protection from the elements. A potholder by the campfire. <laughs> to strain drinking water. A temporary rope. Signal someone. Oh. An arm sling or a tourniquet. Okay, okay. okay. that's not it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Cover the eyes of a spooked animal. Keep your hat on in the wind. To blow your nose. And that's just a few of them. If you know some more, please put them in the comments field. The fabrics used range from silk all the way to flower sacks. Many ranch hands would use scraps left over from the ranchers' wives' sewing projects. This could be one explanation as to why there are so many varieties of colors and designs. Also, cowboys like to spiff up, and a fancy bandana could add a nice flash of color to their clothing. During the Indian Wars, it was common to see yellow scarves on the soldiers. Once again, practical and decorative. Bandanas were commonly tied, but there is evidence of scarf slides used to cinch them tighter around the neck. I don't believe there were standard dimensions back then. Today you can find them from 20 inches all the way to 36 inches, and photos from the era depict a variety of sizes. The internet offers plenty of choices for silk and cotton bandanas. These days it can also be found under the title Wild Rags. They aren't just for reenactors or performers, cowboys today still use them on the range. Well folks, that's bandanas in a nutshell. Now I want to thank Batjack JW, Jedi TV, Dustin Weiniger, Miss Harley, all of you did a great job helping me out that scene. Hey Dan, how you doing? Hey. What is that? It's a banana. You told me wear a banana. No, Dan. I told you wear a bandana. I told you wear Nobody wears bananas, Dan. Nobody. Well, actually it's a new trend. It's a fashion statement. It's not a fashion statement. That's ridiculous. Oh, hey, Jerry, yeah. can, you, can you come over here for just a minute? Uh, sure. Hey, put this down. Hey, Jerry. Oh, what? No. So, wow. <laughs> that is a nice necklace. Where are those from? Colombia? Oh, no. Uh, Ecuador. Yeah. I tried plantains at first, but they threw my back out. Oh, I can see that. They're rather large. So what do you think? We didn't get my new bandana necklace. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's really appealing. Ecuador. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail. Ecuador. I tried plantain. Plan. Uh, excuse me. I tried plantain. Poo poo. Poo poo. Sorry about that. It's a little wider. All right.